we meet again. <laughs> if it lands on heads, I will have dreads. <laughs> Treads? Treads. What'd you say? Dreads. I thought you said. I am the pirate Dread Roberts Rary. Uh, <laughs> all right. Hey, guys. Thanks for tuning in to Colin Mockery. And, uh, you know, keep in mind, uh, for once and for all, smash the digits. Smash those digits. And before I forget, and no. we, there's a board meeting going on right now, and I want them to hear me say that PATV is not responsible for anything that you're about to see. We might do something crazy. We might do something spooky. Now, look. Elephant in the room time. I scratched my eyeball, so I had to wear my glasses. Yes. It's not, I've gotten over my sort of, you know, imitating Joey thing, okay? See, I, I was reaching for my hat to put up, but I don't even have it. But hey guys, uh, we do want to address another Elefante in the frume. Last week, we got a hecked. I don't want to talk about this. We got a hecked once more. The Iowa City Police Department has failed us once and for all. And uh, we just want to say that uh, we know that, you know, we are sorry. We just want to say that though you may have missed out on our great content from last week, we are starting season two right now in earnest. Play that beautiful. Okay, now. Ernest. to say to you guys that we are starting season two in earnest. You know what I thought? Hmm. After last week, as you can see, we had that brand new set. Yes. And I said, after we got hacked, I don't care about that. Give us our reg couch. That's right, our reg couch is already out of sight. Don't need to fake leather chairs. I just wanna see right here on my big reg couch and listen to the radio. Listen to the radio. There are songs about war and songs about your kids. There are songs specifically about your kids and they're on the radio. Your kids are listening to the radio and they hear their name whispered over and over and over and over and over again. That's how the Illuminati works. They whisper to your kids and they call them jerks. Then they tell them to come to a specific place and your kids will go missing. That's what happens when you listen to public radio. So season two has now begun. We've got all our best material ready for- In earnest! Uh, what do we got planned for this year? <laughs> for this season, I guess. Yeah, no, and this season is going to be... Fantouste de gusto. This season is going to be, uh, as the French would say, fries. One bag of freedom fries, please. <laughs> yeah. All right, pledge allegiance to the fries. fries. <sighs> talk about this. Okay, I'll talk about it. <laughs> Carl's Jr. or Hardee's. Here's the thing. I have a I have a theory. Yep. Carl's Jr. Yeah. Hardee's. Yep. They their logos look a lot the same. A lot the same. And I figure that they are both 
they there's something going on. I think they're owned by the same people, and that's Joey's take. In earnest, hey! And, and there we that's go. Joey's take. Yes. Hey! We need a graphic for that. Well, and as you know, that as you know, we were producing the show today, I couldn't make it to the office because I was stuck inside of a, 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 a speaker, a computer speaker. Oh, yeah. I was working on it and I fell right inside and I was stuck in that computer speaker and, uh -huh. you know, people, someone was listening to some very loud music and yep. it hurt my head. Speaking of computer speakers, and I do mean public speakers, Mark Zuckerberg's in hot, filthy water right now, isn't he? <laughs> right now you guys could be watching us or you could be watching Mark Zuckerberg live talk to Congress about... I'm sorry, I didn't know the, 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 the thingy. It was Wozniak. It was Wozniak. <laughs> It was those twins, I swear, Army Hammer and the other one. It's me, Steve Wozniak. Okay, cut the tapes. You can't do that. He died. Oh, he did? <laughs> oh, uh, breaking news, guys. Steve Wozniak has unfortunately passed away. And actually, truth be told, I thought you were doing Stephen Hawking. No, if I was doing that, I would do something like this. Can we get a full body shot? <laughs> okay. The stars are where you come from. <laughs> Smash the digits, everybody. We got a beautiful uh, show for you today. We have a new uh, segment that uh, hopefully will be recurring. Um, coming up in just a little bit, and then we have some announcements to make at the end. That's kind of very exciting, kind of a giving back to your community sort of thing. Oh, and, okay, yes. yeah, yeah. And uh, Joey's been pretty excited about that one for a while. So <laughs> I'm so excited, and I can't hide it. Who is that? Uh, that's who am I doing? Huh? I'm so excited, and I can't hide it. I'm so excited and I can't even hide it! <laughs> <laughs> now, if that's not season two coming at you hot and heavy in earnest, I don't know what is. It's coming at you in. Ernest! Hey! There he is! Ah! Now, guys. Ah! I've been scared stupid! Now, Ernest did uh, pass away. Now that is someone that has passed away and he did smoke cigars. <laughs> this is a PSA for all you out there smoking big fat hoagies. Yeah. Chomping at the bit, literally. Sto stogies. Hoagies. Do you eat the whole thing? Ho well, a hoagie, yes. I'll eat the whole what about damn a thing. <laughs> hey, eat a hoagie, smoke a stogie, but don't mix the two. Hit it. Grandma, Grandpa, we go to their house. They said we're gonna have a dinner like a mouse. What? <laughs> One, two, ready, go. Grandma, Grandpa, go to their house. They said we're gonna have a feast big as a mouse. Well, what does that mean? Oh, gee, means Grandpa's making hoagies. He makes a hoagie. He puts it in my tum 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 tummy. He makes a stogie. He makes me smoke it. Yum 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 yummy. Don't inhale that smoke. Ah, then. I just puffed up the stogie and passed. I just puffed up the stogie and passed. I just puffed up the stogie on the ass. Eating lots of hoagies on the day after Christmas, everyone. <laughs> this is the time of year to buy yourself a hoagie gift card. And I'm so excited that I just can't hide it. Excited. We got something big coming up after the break. Do not go anywhere. Call the Smashes Digits. Put them at the bottom of the screen. Put them at the bottom of the screen. There they are right there. What do we got coming up? Do you want to tell them? Smash the Digits. 
call him mockery. Oh. And who is this? This is Tim. I'm a long-time watcher, first time caller. Oh, it's oh. Tijuana. Tijuana calling all the way from an international we call. We get, all the, we get on Instagram all the time. We get, yeah, we love you. Come to Brazil. Come to we Brazil. Come to Tijuana. Tijuana. Who what at, happened last week? What, what do you mean what happened last week? Guys. Oh. Which game is my cat? Someone's, so, so, someone's sad that something happened last week, in fact. And we, our show did get hacked last week by the hackers themselves. That the hacked. Yeah. They were in episodes uh, three and six from season one. Yeah. Did you kiss those guys? Did we kiss them? Yeah. Uh, I wish. <laughs> they look so cute. <laughs> uh, no, but I would like to kiss them with my uh, freaking knuckle and sandwich. Poof, poof. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, no, kiss them with their knuckle and the sandwich. Poof, poof. Do it again. Poof, poof. How was that? I think yeah. you like that. Ah, you like that. Well, is there anything you want to say to all the your, our loyal viewers? You know, our big simmers out here. And simmers! That's what we call them. Yeah. I have a lawnmower I want to sell. It's the John Deere. And it's, it's you want to call me, you can call me at 555. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right. If you got to yeah, use yeah. this to advertise. 555. Five, five. Okay. We got so, a game show to get to. No soliciting. No soliciting. Read the sign. No solicitado. Hey, amen, brother. And God bless. And I hope you get back on your feet sometime soon. Oh. All right. And after the break, we're going to have a very special, special uh, segment. A uh, little bit of a game show that uh, we're very excited to uh, unveil for you guys. So come on back after this short message. You're not going to want to miss it. See the movie that the New York Times is calling the most frenetic thriller since the Matthew Broderick Godzilla movie. What are we gonna do? We can't just leave it like this. No, no, Mr. Sturzing. And we're not going to. Reader's Digest says it moves like a freight train. Only a master at the top of his craft could make people standing around talking and making phone calls feel so important. They can't do it. What, what do you mean? They can't do it. I don't know. I don't know. Hot Rod Magazine calls it the most important piece of loosely based nonfiction art to come out of Hollywood this week. We have to just go to them. Plead our case. If not for us, then for every single person that comes through that door. It needs to take a dump. better than ever. And let's go ahead and roll that intro. I tell you what, we're here with our uh, our guest. How's let's, this? Let's bring you over. Oh, okay. Let's bring you over here. Uh, go ahead for the for the viewers at home. What's your name? Julieta. Very cool. Yay! Now, have you ever seen a Harrison Ford picture? Mm, probably. S Star Wars. Let's name them off. Uh, you can say yes or no. Star Wars. Star Wars. Ever seen any of them? Yes. Ha uh, Harrison Ford Ford's film. film. Indiana Jones. Jones. No. Have you ever seen uh, The Conversation? He's a, it's a kind of a bit part for him. No. Have you ever okay. seen the movie 44? No. Uh, 
well, here, let's just erase this uh, completely because I asked you, have you ever seen a Harrison Ford picture? And I literally mean, have you ever seen a picture yes. of Harrison Ford? <laughs> yes. All right, right, so this is going to be easy for you because do you know that he does have a chin scar, a scar upon his little beautiful chin? I do now. Well, all right. This now is this gonna is going to be pretty fun. Then. This is going to be very fun. This <laughs> is the game show uh, where in which you do have to draw as accurately as possible Harrison Ford's chin scar. Now, are you ready, Julieta? Yes. All right. We're going to step to the side. You're going to have... step to the side. You're going to have exactly thirty seconds to uh, quite uh, as accurately as possible draw Harrison Ford's chin scar. Uh, start the clock. On three, two, one, and then go ahead and uh, start doing that. And uh, for the viewers at home, go ahead and put up that first image of Harrison Ford, the uh, the you know the the topless one. <laughs> go ahead and throw that. In. There it is. What is under there, Julia? There is so much going on down there. We don't know about. Uh, let's. So now it's time for some Harrison Ford uh, trivia. Trivia. Uh, did you know that Harrison Ford is very cool? Harrison Ford is very cool. Um, did you know that Harrison Ford actually has been shirtless a number of times in his life? How many? Oh, how old is he? <laughs> At least. Yep, yep, yep. 70. And, <clears throat> and oh, it looks like we're, uh, she's erasing a bit. Uh-oh, she decided no. Nope. She decided that's maybe mm -hmm. not as uh, Harrison Ford asked as maybe you'd like. Now, Joey, let me ask you this. Did you know Harrison Ford is a true-to-life pilot? He is. Isn't that interesting? What do you mean by that? Well, you know, he plays a character, Han Solo, uh, who is a very great pilot, and he actually uh, crash lands his planes on golf courses. Oh, um, that's in real funny. life. Are you done? I think I'm finished. You think I you think finished that's, drawing Harrison Ford's That's interesting. Okay, star. so let's go ahead uh, and come on over. Okay, so we, so right here, uh, the body proportionately is uh, accurate, but we, we don't get any points for that, okay? Now... If I can give you points for it looking like Harrison Ford, you'd have won the game show already. That's right, that's right. Now, but the we, problem is that's not what we're looking for. Unfortunately, we are looking for accuracy for upon the uh, chain scar. Now, uh, keep in mind, uh, loyal viewers at home, if you want to go ahead and smash those digits and uh, you know, you know, put in your two cents on this picture, go ahead, that's fine. But I do want to point out that uh, right now, unfortunately, smash. Unfortunately, uh, oh, and that you and all right, do, so now she's kind of trying to pander, so right? That, yeah, we uh, do appreciate that, but again, not going to get extra points for indeed saying smash those digits. That's right, but you will get a free t shirt after this just for that. Uh, not one of ours. Oh, we don't have one. No, I have the t shirt in my backpack. Um, all right, the first thing I'm going to notice though is that unfortunately, this is most likely a mouth, you know, just to my to my the best knowledge of mine. And I'd like to say that Landon is noticing that what that line there looks like is indeed a mouth. He is noticing that. So that's something that we yep. keep that in mind. I brought my specs out for this, okay? So we're, we're, we are gonna you know, really kind of look at this. And yeah, I'm, I'm seeing a mouth and actually no visual representation of a scar at all. Well, my thing is... Oh, it is your thing. Who's to judge someone else's art? This is Who's how I to see judge Harrison someone else's okay. art. Okay. Well, this is interesting. Look, now this did not come up on the uh, on the, uh, you the know pre pre, pre contestant uh, taping and the and see if that is a very <laughs> good and what that looks like to me almost is a Charlie Brown esque. <laughs> yeah, very um, <laughs> very much a Charlie Brown. Uh, but look, you signed. You know that you're literally being judged for your art by simply coming on the show. That's the thing we're doing today. That's literally what this is all about. Judging your art for accuracy. You can't just do that. Um, so all right. Uh, so go ahead and we, we could actually you know, throw a couple more seconds on the clock if you want to throw a mouth on there and then we can judge the accuracy of the scar. Is this the mouth? That's the mouth? Oh my God! That's the mouth? That's, you're telling me that's the mouth. That's the mouth. Yes. This is uh, the mouth. Okay, now I see. Oh, the geez. I believe maybe you said that we're, that, we're that we're trying to have you draw Harrison Ford's chin size. 
what you think is very large, it looks like. That's his mouth. So no. what the hell is this? That's the nose. No, that's the, that's the nose. Put the picture of Harrison Ford back up. I want you to look at this. Put up that picture of Harrison Ford. I want you to look at this. Where do you see a nose that's a straight line down? Hmm. And where do you see... Go back to that picture of Harrison Ford. Joey, get the hell out of the way. Why does it look like he's smiling that much? I mean, Jesus Christ! It's an unprecedented image. What's the thing you think about when you think about Harrison Ford? His mustache! His mustache? He doesn't even have a mustache on there. And the fact that he does not smile. No, 30 seconds is up. No! 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 <sighs> That's even worse! I think it's better. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go back and let's look at that again. All right. I'd say... I'd say, um, that looks like a pretty damn good chin scar to me. I'd have to, I'd have to agree, you know, do we have a picture of Harrison Ford with a chin scar? Show the reveal! Just one, a free piece of something. Can we get this on camera? <laughs> it's not showing up. No, it was. Uh, ah! Yeah, here you go. You see what you got? You're welcome. You drew Harrison Ford's chin scar. Not very perfect, but close. Da -da 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 you drew his chin scar on his chin. You drew it over and over again. You gave him a little Hitler mustache. Well, guess what? That dashes that our hopes of having a show because we're going to get canceled because of what you drew. You just got us turned off the air. Thank you for getting our show canceled today. Your turn, now go. Go. Your turn, now go. Sing it. Harrison Your... Ford. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Chin yes. scar. All right. All right. Now let's uh, throw to the break, and we'll come back to make some awesome announcements. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much for playing. Can you draw Harrison Ford's, Ford's chin scar? scar. Another show has come to pass, but that doesn't mean that our break will last, because we'll be back after a couple days, next Tuesday, that's why you ask. Every time that you look at me, I wonder what is it you see, a couple glasses and a hat. Look at my crack, my butt crack. Do you look at my butt crack when I'm asleep? I'm bending over to pick up a leaf that I can crush between my teeth. I'm a brontosaurus, I am a dinosaur with a huge butt crack. Chomp, chomp, chomp on a leaf. Can you believe that our show is almost over today? Episode, I'm saying this is episode one. Hey, last week didn't count. That was no fun. We had Shia on, but you couldn't see it. He's number one. But I think we all learned a valuable lesson today. We need to be a little more rigorous in our pre-game show uh, filtering. That's Figure right. out who knows who Harrison Ford is, first of all. Well, arguably the fun of the game would be as if they didn't know. But she ruined it by, you know, talking about artistic integrity. That's not what this game show's ever been about. Every time we've done the Harrison Ford show, you know that it's and not. And you want to check the tapes. We have done it at least a few times. And, and it's never what it's been about, and it's very clear it's not what it's been about. It's always been about having fun, first and foremost, to, um you know, playing the game as it's stated. 
we're going to be in the contract. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, we do need to kind of, you know, tell, oh. tell the viewers at home. We do have a special something going on. Yes, yes. So Joey's got an announcement to make. We are doing a contest. You guys have kind of figured it out by now. We did the game show, and now we're doing a contest, okay? We've kind of had an exorbitant amount of wealth since season one, just right. kind of thrust upon us. So we're, we're in, the mo in the moment. We're of, having fun with it. People say, oh, you're a DJ. You shouldn't buy a $16 million house. You don't yeah. know if that wealth is going to last exactly. or whatever. We're that DJ right now. We're exactly. buying the $16 million house. We're saying, put it on my card. I'm good for it. Yeah. I'm getting buco miles. Well, I'm driving my own plane, just like Harrison Ford. <laughs> so here's what we want you to do. We know we have a lot of younger viewers out there. Hey. A lot of four to seven year olds. Four to seven year olds. Very specific. Harrison Ford to seven year olds. <laughs> I'm more of a Chevy guy. I like a Kia Cemento. <laughs> Cemento me. My brother Cemento says that's you. not a thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's a callback. Yeah, uh, callback. So what we want all our younger viewers to do is they love writing to us and telling us Lan and Joey on Twitter. They say, Lan and Joey, we love what you guys do. I always yeah. picture you guys as my best friends. And I say, hey, that's not healthy. <laughs> but what we want you to do is we want you to send in your drawings. We want all you kids that are younger than, younger than seven years old, send in your drawings send of Lan and I doing something fun, interviewing a guest, going <laughs> skydiving. You've seen us do so much activities. Now go ahead and make some art of it. Hey. Except you, Julieta. You stay where you are. And you don't touch a pen ever again. Don't touch me. Well, um, but as for the kiddos, you know, definitely, yeah. You know, we'll show them, I think, in a week or two, once we we'll get all the submissions in, yeah. we're going to put them up on screen, and you guys can watch the show live and see all of your all of your very special drawings right here on the mm -hmm. show. And we're gonna comment on them, we're gonna say, wow, Jonathan, that looks great. That was awesome, yeah, and stuff like that. Like, yeah. Oh, nice use some color and shading on this one. Yes. You know, stuff like that. Yeah. But I do have to say I also, sphere. Yeah, that'll be a drawing of me. Cause I'm fat. I get it. Some things never change. Should we go back to being mad at each other every episode? I, it's easier than acting like we're not mad at each other. <laughs> I tell you what, uh, that reminds me of a song. As we go away this week, we have a very sp special song that we want to play just for you. And we wrote it for this very episode, and we're going to play it right now. And we're going to go, and we're going to play you out. The song's going to play in full, and then the show's going to end. And it, we, we spent a lot of time working on this one, so we really uh, hope you like it. We hope one. you guys like it. Two. One, two, three, four.